second act. Guys, this is a hilarious and talented act. You're gonna love him. Keep it going for the hilarious and talented David Shaw! Hi, I'm Sarah's dad. <laughs> Uh, Sarah, you could have sold my joke a little better. <laughs> but, alright. So, we've established I'm an old guy. Yeah, I'm brought in to raise the demographic. I think just by showing up, I raise the average age of the competitors to about 45. <laughs> Hell, I'm so old, I, I can put my phone away for 10 minutes at a time. <laughs> But somebody was telling me the other day, they said, you know, your sets are kind of creaky like your age. I said, what do you mean? He says, well, you don't have enough sex in it. I said, well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> when you look at me, how many hours is it before hot sex comes to mind? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'm no expert on hot sex. How can I be? I've been married for 32 years. <laughs> no, 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 no applause, please. In this country, if I'd killed somebody, I'd have been paroled seven years ago. <laughs> the only thing that stiffens up on me regularly is my back. <laughs> and hey, after 32 years, when you get to the height of passion, or as I know it, the last three seconds before I finally get to fall asleep. <laughs> and your wife is just likely to say something to you like, uh, do you remember to book that dentist appointment for me today? <laughs> yeah, that's as serious, to, or close to serious drilling as I ever got. <laughs> See, Sarah, I can step on punchlines too. <laughs> you know, that might be my what, be my, what, my, might be why my wife asked me the other night uh, if I still masturbate. Now the bed was shaking at the time and it woke her up. <laughs> so I figured she could get an honest answer. Now I'll, I'll bet, I'll bet every one of you guys in this room would give the same honest answer as I did. Because I think sex is a lot like driving. You know, sometimes it's just better by yourself. <laughs> You know, there, there's nobody standing next to you, talking all the time, <laughs> telling you you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Slow down! <laughs> Not there! <laughs> Jeez, if you don't know where you're going, why don't you stop and ask for directions? <laughs> But sometimes I do make the effort. <laughs> like a little while ago, my wife told me she was going home to England for a couple weeks to visit her sister. So I thought that'd be a good time to surprise her when she got back by painting the bathroom. Pro tip for all you young guys in here, forget flowers, wine, any number of fancy dinners. When you've been married as long as I have, the fastest way to get laid is to paint the bathroom. <laughs> and I went the whole nine yards, too. I bought a new light fixture. <laughs> yes, sir, I thought that ever-elusive PJ was going to be part of the deal. <laughs> but as it turned out, considering what I spent on the paint and the light fixture, I'd have been better off going to the rub and tub. <laughs> I mean, at least there I would have got a massage, too. <laughs> but something else my wife doesn't get is the all-important last drop rule. Now, I see that doesn't seem to ring a bell, but I'll, be I'll bet a thousand bucks every guy in this room, if he lives with someone else, lives by that rule. Because that's the rule that says, when you get near the bottom of the milk or the juice container, no matter how infinitesimally small that last drop is, as long as you can still see it, 
You got the right to put that thing back in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's for stuff like that. I, I, I was thinking a while ago, you know, it really is time you cleaned up your act. So I thought, okay, and this happened to me when I was starting a business trip for my day job. So I thought, well, there's no time like the present. So when I was checking in the hotel, I said to the desk clerk, you know, I really hope the porn channel in my room is disabled. And she said, no, sir, you sick bastard. It's a regular porn. <laughs> Now, something I've always tried to avoid in my comedy, yeah, I know, aside from being funny, but, uh, is politics, because it's just more trouble than it's worth. But since we gave up the high ground on Donald Trump by electing Doug Ford and his merry band, I can't resist, because you heard yesterday about our, community, our brand new community safety minister, a fellow named Michael Tibolo. He went on a ride around with the cops at Jane and Finch, and he very proudly said he wore a bulletproof vest. I think we're being a little hard on him, because he is the MPP for Vaughn Woodbridge. <laughs> if you've been reading the news, in certain cafes and social clubs up there, a bulletproof vest is pretty up compulsory. That's why they call it the Woodbridge dinner jacket. <laughs> and finally, You've all had time to digest Doug Ford's big moves since he got elected, right? Turning back the sex education clock to 1998. Yeah. I'm really torn on this one. I know it's not good for the kids, you know, probably. For me personally, I wouldn't mind turning the old sexual clock back to 1998. <laughs> yeah, it's my last good year. <laughs> Boy, I painted a lot of bathrooms that year, I'll tell you. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. I'm David Cole.